My mission for today is to provide wireless network in my new home place and uh, the main goal for today is to get 100% wireless network coverage in this property and that should happen without any visible wires and drilling holes into the walls. So how to achieve this? Uh, there is two options in the market available these days. So one would be so-called wireless network repeaters. From my past experience, that's not the best solution, first of all, because you're still getting quite big speed losses as far as you go from the main kind of rotor. And the second downside for that, it's especially bad if you need to go in between of floors. So that's not good solution for me. Another option what I have is now in these days available in the, available in the market is so-called power line adapters. So power line adapters actually using your electrical wires into your property and that's how you can extend your network. So I did my research as always. I never buy anything before I'm doing my research simply just because I'm looking for the best solution what I actually need. So I don't want to overpay for something what I'm not gonna use or save on something where I could, you know, spend a little bit more and get exactly what I need. So that's the part I'm always doing. So the company I found is the Volo and uh, it's made in Germany. And this is probably one of the market leaders in power line adapters. And they are now mainly concentrating on two product lines. So one is Magic 1 and another one is Magic 2. So this exact kit is Magic 1 Wi-Fi Mini. There is Magic 1 Wi-Fi regular kind of size kit as well. Why I went with this one because this is probably giving me the best uh, best kind of option for the money it costs because they are not cheap. Let's say if I would go with Magic 2 series wireless kind of uh, multi-room kit that would cost around 300 euros. This was coming around 120 to 170, depends in which place, but as you can see, it's nearly twice the price. So I don't want to overpay for something simply because I'm not gonna use. So uh, what's the main difference between Magic 1 and Magic 2 series is that Magic 2 series can work uh, on much higher speeds. So if Magic 1 series, the line speed in electrical wires will be up to 1200 megabits per second then magic 2 series can work up to 2400 megabits per second why i did went with this solution simply because my incoming uh, network speed in this property is only up to 120 megabits per second that is why i don't need to buy pay twice as much price for the magic 2 simply because i'm not gonna use it anyway so another bit which is important between magic 1 and magic 2 series uh, kind of uh, lines are that uh, this magic um, mini this exact kit which i have can provide wireless speeds up to 300 megabits per second that's only because it's using 2.4 gigahertz uh, band and uh, if I would go with Magic 1 series, which is kind of regular size, that would provide the same speeds in wireless network as Magic 2, which would be 1200 megabits per second, which is fast, good enough, yeah. And uh, another part which is important as well in this kit is that the range, it used to be only up to 300 meters for power lines. So if your wires are longer than 300 meters, it simply wouldn't work. And another part which was important in the past was that it should be on the same phase, but the Volo somehow managed to boost the range for Magic 1 series up to 400 meters already, and Magic 2 series can boost it up to 500 meters. So that's quite, quite, quite big range if we comparing with regular LAN cables, which can go only up to 100 meters. That's quite impressive. Yeah, and uh, another part which is as well important, of course, is the LAN speeds itself. So the Magic Mini series can provide up to 100 megabits per second. And uh, if we are going to Magic 2 series, then that could go even up to 3 gigabits per second, which is like fast, very fast. So <clears throat> what's in this kit? So this is exactly the multi-room kit. Why it's multi-room? Because it's coming with two adapters. So there's actually three units inside. One will be the signal sender, 
and then you have another two units which you can plug somewhere in your house and that will extend your kind of network. So why I went with multi-room kit is simply because uh, this property has two floors, so on the ground floor I have my incoming wireless router from my internet provider and that's sitting in one corner of my property and my office is on another one. I still have quite good wireless range but I can improve that speed simply by using this technology and that's why I will use one of the units in my office and another one will go upstairs where I don't have wireless network nearly at all so that should sort out the first floor as well in my situation if I have even bigger property you can buy those units separately and that way you can extend your range even more so that's good about this one uh, yeah so if you will take a look closer on the specs what you can see here this is how the unit will look like apart from the adapters itself uh, it comes with the LAN cable which you so basically what you need to do is you will need to connect your signal sender which will locate near your wireless router which is coming from your uh, internet provider so that's where you will plug the wire in and that should go in a socket and then those two extenders simply you will put somewhere in your house so there is another important thing which you which you need to keep in mind that you before you will plug it somewhere you need to probably do some testing because the farther you go the less speed you will have so you will get kind of the farther you go the speed will reduce depends on that so that is why it's important when you are locating your uh, devices you want to try out in different locations just to find out which one will work the best for you because it will depends of how good is your uh, kind of electrical network inside in your property so what great about this one as well is like I said it used to be that those kits was working only on one phase but in these days they manage already to sort this one out and this kit will work also on different phases in your property so that's kind of good so yeah let's crack this box open see what's inside and let's start installing this kit so inside in a box we will find the user manual which is very nicely illustrated showing exactly how you need to connect what will requires when you will need to pair it first how far you can go so up to 10 meters and stuff like that uh, you can also get a application later to kind of change let's say your password if you want to build uh, your wireless mesh how you can change all those settings so you can either get the app for your phone or tablet or you can get uh, the Volo software for Windows as well which calls a little bit different I forgot at the moment but we will get to that as well so that's what's inside the box so we have our two wireless kind of devices and the signal sender device so this will look like that this will be the one port which we will use to connect our uh, kind of wireless router which is incoming one from our internet provider then we have a pairing kind of button then we have the wireless devices again we have our LAN port as well so it's good because we can use the wireless connection and in some cases if you have some computer where it's still LAN you can use that one as well if you need so there is one port for that so apart from that we will find in a box as well our LAN cable and some other stuff so warranty on this one goes for three years so if something is happening in three years the Volo will be happy to kind of sort out all those problems for you so this is currently where my setup will go I will plug the sender adapter down here in the socket the wireless router which is coming from my internet provider is sitting here so I still need to clean up all this mess the speaker should go on the stands and that's gonna be probably another uh, kind of mission for me but 
Yeah, for now I will connect. Now everything can show you how it's all connected here. And then I will show you how we will pay it. So the first step what we need to do is to actually take out our wireless devices and plug them into the wall. So remember that should be not farther away than 10 meters from the point where your signal sender will be. That's only for the pairing process. Once that will be done, you can take it out and go and plug it wherever you need. But yeah, now what we need to do, we need to wait till the uh, icon will flash white. That means that it's going to be ready for pairing. That can take up to one minute. And once that will be done, we come back to this one. So as you can see, the LAN cable is plugged in here at the bottom. And it's simply going up here in the router and uh, it will simply plug in in one of the LAN ports So, as you can see, at the moment all our LED lights are solid white. That means that we are paired and we are ready to go. I can now unplug my wireless device and just plug it in any socket I need. So, as you can see, there is everything white. Right? And if I will take you here, that is my other device. As you can see, this one as well is all solid white. So as you can see here, this is what you will see in app. So this is the main device, which is signal sender, the Volo 899. This is my LAN adapter, which is transferring signal to both of the devices. So one is the Volo 478 and 329, those both are wireless devices. So what I will do now to manually create a wireless mesh, I will start with my main router, where I will change the seed, which is the name kind of, of your wireless network. It shows up when you are connecting. I will change that one and I will change the password as well on all of those devices. So it's much exactly and that will create my wireless mesh in my kind of property. So it's actually you now a couple of days later and I am quite happy with this setup. It took me a bit to set it up properly to name all my devices so I know exactly what is what. So this is the Windows software which calls Cockpit and uh, that shows me all my connections so as you can see I have the main unit which is my router device connected and then I have two wireless devices this speed here shows 300 nearly 400 megabits per second which is line speed in the kind of network of electrical wires that changes all the time it coming down to 300 megabits per second and going up to 600 so that depends of uh, what kind of uh, how noisy is your kind of uh, electrical system what devices you are using and stuff like that but uh, it doesn't really affect the speed of the wireless uh, network itself so in all the rooms I'm now receiving at least 93 megabits per second which is really not bad relating that my incoming speed is 120 megabits per second and uh, yeah, that's kind of showing me that the loss is around 25%, which is really not bad. Uh, so from here, it took me a little bit to do the updates on all of the devices because they was nearly a year old uh, update wise. And now I'm running on the latest software. So to get all this working properly in the Volo cockpit application I needed to do the update on each of the devices and then it nicely showed up and now I can monitor what's kind of happening and uh, yeah if we will look now on the price tag how much I spent for this setup then I would say it's well worth that because first of all my mission is now complete I did what I needed and uh, for the price tag I paid, you actually getting two wireless kind of uh, hotspots in your house extra. So I would say that's really not a bad kind of price point. So yeah, if you are looking for solutions for yourself, 
I will put as always a link down below in the description so you can find this kit and I will link probably to the Lovo Magic Series 2 as well because like I said if your incoming speeds let's say you have optic broadband or something you may probably look for faster solutions and in that case the Magic Series 2 probably will be the best bet for you. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of mission for me and uh, I will see you on the next one. Ciao.